Hi, this is Emmanuel Kaduri, and you're welcome to Emotional Academy. In this video, we now dive into function proper after a series of introductory lessons. I hope you enjoy this. Now, here, you know, we've been talking about um, why being dependent on X, like in most of all the examples that we have dealt with, and um, we, we treated these different kind of instances, you know, and then I explained to you why we can say that one variable depends on the other. Okay? Now, we want to just, um, in this, in this um, case now, we are just trying to, uh, to represent that function or that dependency. We are trying to represent it in a different way, in a more advanced way, which we will be using henceforth. Okay? Now, when we say y, if y depends on x, okay, as we have it like this, okay, it simply means, it can be said that um, um, y is a function of x, okay? So if y depends on x, it simply means that y is a function of x, all right? Okay, so this can be represented as um, y equals what? f of x. We can just say y is equal to what? f of x, right? y is a function of x. It's not as if y is multiplying um, f is multiplying x, okay? So nothing is multiplying anything. It's just like y is a function of x, and that's just how it is. So if we have it that way, it means that if we have this, so if we say y is equal to 3x plus 2, okay, we can therefore say that what? f of x, since y is a function of x, so instead of saying y equals to 3x plus 2, we can say f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Okay? And so, that's how it goes. We can say f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Instead of saying y equals 3x plus 2, but they are the same. Practically the same thing. Alright? So, no biggie. No big difference. It's just the same thing. The difference is just the, the way the stuff is being represented. All right, because we are dealing with advanced level mathematics, and some things have to just change from the original. Um, from the original, now the change is not just the propaganda. The change is for some important purposes, which you will soon discover. All right, so now, in that case, if we say, um, you know, instead of me now writing it in words, so this is where the importance begins to set in. Okay, instead of me writing in, in words and by saying, okay, um, let x be um, equal to minus 2. Instead of me saying, saying all this, okay, it's not really so ideal in advanced level maths. We would rather say that if f of x, okay, is equal to 3x plus 2, we'd rather say find f of 2, f of minus 2, okay? That's what the question we just say. The question we say, find f of minus 2. Okay? It's, it's, it's better represented that way. Instead of writing it in words by saying this. So we don't, we no longer um, deal with it this way anymore. But rather, we, we just deal with it in this way. Although both of them mean the same thing, right? But this is more, okay, more technical, more um, standard. All right, mathematically standard. It is more mathematically standard to write it this way. So if the question now says find f of minus 2, what they are just trying to ask you to do is that anywhere you see x, replace it with what? Minus 2. Just the same thing you've been doing before now. All right, so we just say f of minus 2 is equal to 3, then minus 2, plus 2. So meaning 
positive 3 times minus 2, like positive times minus, plus times minus is minus, 3 times 2 is 6, then you say plus what? Plus 2. Minus 6 plus 2 means that I am owing 6, but I'm having 2. If I pay the 2 that I'm having, I'm still owing 4. So which means f of minus 2 is equal to 4. Okay? If we have something similar to, if this question says, um, find um, f of 0, no problem, still the same thing. f of 0 will be like, okay, since we know that f of x is equal to 3x plus 2, then it means f of 0 will be equal to 3, 0 plus 2. That is, anywhere we see x, we put, we put um, um, 0 there. As a matter of fact, it only looks complex, but it even makes the whole thing easier. It, make, it only looks complex by picture, but if you follow it with your mind and you try to just understand the concepts, you will see that it is easier. Okay, just know that, okay, if f of x is this, f of 0 means anywhere you find x. It means x has been replaced by 0 here. It should be replaced by 0 everywhere else. Simple. So in that case, f of 0 is equal to 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2. So three times, that's what 2. And that's the answer. It's just as simple as that. Okay? Now, let us just play with something a little bit technical. All right. Just small, small, just small, small thing. Don't be afraid. It's, it's quite easy. Okay? You just follow me up. Okay. In this case, I'm trying to, let's say, f of x, okay, is equal to 3x plus 2. Okay, and the question says, find f of x minus 2. No problem. Don't fear. Okay? What this thing is just trying to make you do is that anywhere you see, anywhere you see x, replace it to x minus 2. Finish. So, just say f of x minus 2 would be 3 times x minus 2 plus 2. Simple. So, 3 times x will give you 3x. Then 3 times minus 2 will give you minus 6. Okay? That's expansion of bracket. It's one of our preliminary videos. Okay? So, just um, check those videos out. Introductory algebra. You will see all these things there. If you have issues with stuff like this, it explains it to the core and then you get it. Okay? Now, so we have um, 3x minus 2. Then this plus 2, you bring it down. So having this, having it this way, um, okay, okay, yeah, we just resolve this part because we cannot add um, six to x to anything x, okay? But we just collect like terms. This and this, they are like terms, so they can add or subtract each other. So you just come here. You say f of x minus two is equal to three um, x. The minus six plus two simply means I'm owing six. I have two, so that would be like um, I'm still owing four. So this is the answer. So if f of x is equal to 3x plus 2, then f of x minus 2 is 3x minus 4. Is that very clear? So you see, it's just, it just looks complex, but it's quite easy. So regardless of how the question is twisted, regardless of how the function looks, regardless of the picture it poses, regardless of anything whatsoever, the thing still implies that anywhere you see x, replace it with whatever is it that you put in the bracket, and then do a little bit of mathematics, some simple algebra, and then you arrive at the answer. And so that is the end of this introductory, introductory part of function. Then, in the next video, we talk about function from another dimension. Follow up. Bye.